in this parched corner of Texas. If it doesn't rain, we will certainly run out of surface water. Water supplies are drying up, but ideas to replenish them are not. In search of this unusual water story, we drove about four hours west of Fort Worth and came to a stop here on what used to be an island, or at least so says the GPS. This spot was once surrounded by a sprawling reservoir. But years of drought have created a desperate thirst. Is it desperate enough, though? For residents in five Texas cities to accept a solution some find hard to swallow. Yes, the Colorado River Municipal Water District recently began recycling millions of gallons of sewage. After it is scrubbed at the wastewater plant in Big Spring, Texas, the liquid is now being pumped into a new $12 million washing warehouse where it goes through microfilters and reverse osmosis. Then it's disinfected. The water stream is injected with the uh hydrogen peroxide and hit with ultraviolet light when it's all done you're basically looking at pure or uh, bottled water quality water project supervisor john womack contends what once went down the drain is pure enough to drink you feel very confident about this i do for those who aren't so confident this water will be treated yet again before it's consumed by the half million customers down the pipeline from here still we've been titled from toilet to tap Womack and his boss have heard all the wisecracks as I heard somebody say they get to drink their beer twice now General Manager John Grant expected some of that. As far as he knows, his is the first water district in the country to directly recycle effluent back into the reservoir. But he knows of other utilities that are seriously considering it. So we've got to get creative. We've got to look for new sources of supply. And ultimately, this recycling tactic may have the unintended effect of conserving some water, too, because... I won't drink it. I'm going to buy bottled water. As we found at Dell's Cafe in Big Spring. The state even says it's pure. It's very clear. Sure, yeah, I understand that. But I know where it came from. Some locals still can't get past the image that part of what's in their cup may have once been swirling down a bowl. Jason Wheeler, Channel 8 News.